In this video, we're going to take a look at applying tones to both the highlights and the shadow areas, and we're going to be using Apply Image to help us refine a mask. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to warm up the highlight areas in this image, and to do that, we're going to be using an adjustment layer of color balance. Now, with color balance, tones, we're going to leave set onto the midtones. Reds, we're going to take up into this area here, plus 56 will do nicely bringing the yellows across, just dropping it back very, very slightly into that area there. Looks pretty good, apart from we have now toned the entire image. But this is where Image, Apply Image comes in. Watch what happens when I click on Apply Image. If I come to the preview, if I uncheck this, we've now got a fully toned image again. We've got a white mask. Now, as soon as I click the preview, this has now just toned it very subtly in the highlights, which is exactly what I was after. And take a look at the layer mask. We've now got what looks like a black and white image, and I'll come back to this in just a moment. Now, there's a few more changes we need to make. Where it says layer, it's saying merged. If I click on this, you'll see there it is. There's our top one, our color balance. There's the next one, which is levels. Clicking on our background layer, this is all I'm gonna select. Keep an eye on that layer mask. Look at the way it's just darkened down a little bit more. Blending, we're using normal, but you can also use multiply, and I'm gonna click on OK. Now when I switch the visibility off and on, if I go off, there it is, you can see quite cool there in the highlights. Turning it on, it's just warmed it up nicely. Let's have a look at this layer mask. If I press and hold down the Alt or the Option key, so holding down Alt or Option, clicking on the layer mask, and there it is. It is a black and white image. Now we can refine this even further, because don't forget, where we got the whites, where we got the highlights, this is where we're going to see that color balance layer. Where we got the darker tones, this is where it's going to be held back. It's where it's going to be shielded. So if we come up to Image, if we go down to apply image again, now this is reapplying it to the blending of multiply. We can change this. Let's take a look at, say, soft lights. And it's well worth experimenting. Soft lights there. Let's take a look at overlay. Like the way it's just darkened down around this area. Got nice whites around here. So this should let more of the color balance through. Let's click on OK. Let's click on the little eye icon. That just pops the mask back into place. Switching off and on. And you can see we've just got some nice warmth now in those highlight areas. Right, now for the rest of the image. Let's go back to an adjustment layer. Now you could use hue saturation, you could use color balance as we did before. Yes, you could even use photo filter. My favorite has got to be color lookup. Now with color lookup, we're going to be using the 3D LUT, and my favorite has got to be film stock. But once again, we've applied it to the entire image. But if we come up to image, Let's come down to Apply Image. And when we go to Apply Image, everything looks exactly the same. In fact, the layer mask hasn't even changed. That's because Blending is on Overlay. If we change it back to Multiply, that looks better. You may have noticed a change with the image as well. But that black and white looks exactly the same as the first black and white we saw with our Color Balance layer. We need to invert it, so now we're working on this area here and not around the highlights. And we can do that by simply putting a tick in the invert box. That looks better. Switching the preview off and on, like the way this is looking. We're going to click OK to that. In fact, let's take a look at the mask, holding down that Alt or Option key, clicking on the mask. There it is. It is now a negative of that black and white that we had. Now we're going to refine this mask even further because what I'd like to do is just darken down these areas here to allow the color balance to come through even further. So back up to image, we're going to come down to apply image and we're going to apply it again using multiply. Let's click on OK, click on the little eye icon. That looks pretty good like that, just toggling this off and on. Love the way it's got some nice warmth now in the area of that woodwork. Yeah, like the way that's looking. Let's have a look at the highlights. Highlights are warmed up nicely. In fact, let's try it one more time. Going to press and hold down Alter Option. There's our mask. Back up to Image. We're going to go to Apply Image, seeing how that looks. Worth trying some of the others as well. And you can see that really does add some blacks in there. 
and um, no, I think I'm going to leave it on multiply. We're going to click on OK. So that's the third time you can apply it multiple times. Just experiment, see what works with your images, like the way this is looking. In fact, let's just click back so we've got our color lookup. Worth experimenting with some of the others, for example, with the, the Fuji. That looks pretty good like this. Some of the Kodak ones work well as well, he says, going through them. Just experiment. I'm going to go back to film stock. That's our color balance. You can see the way that warms up the whites there. And if we take a look, they got that wood coming through there. That really does look good like that. This is what we started off with. And there it is using those two adjustment layers, then using apply image to refine the layer masks. Go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. But until the next time it is, happy imaging and take care.